I'm Shuan Thomas-Gibson, Consultant Endoscopist and Dean at St Mark's Hospital London and Professor of Practice at Imperial College London. I'm the senior author on our paper entitled Team Working in Endoscopy, a Human Factors Toolkit for the COVID-19 Era. What was our motivation to write this paper? 2020 has seen the globally devastating effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on our healthcare systems. Endoscopy in the UK had all but stopped, and as we reintroduced our services, it was apparent that working practices would change for the foreseeable future. Several guidance documents from specialist societies and organisations highlighted an array of key changes needed to restart our services. We recognised that teams which deliver endoscopy needed support on the ground, particularly in adapting to novel environments and practices. The impact of COVID-19 on endoscopy has the potential to affect team working and performance and ultimately patient safety. Our paper published in Endoscopy describes the development of a practical toolkit designed to support endoscopy teams during COVID-19 and beyond. Um, so hi, I'm Dr. Batson Ravindran, um, one of the research fellows involved in this paper. Um, I'm going to talk to you about what we did. So we know that team performance affects patient outcomes. We used a human factors approach to adapt to model team performance, incorporating factors relevant to COVID to give us a better understanding of the issues affecting endoscopy teams. Development of this model allowed us to construct a set of team working goals from which we could design an intervention to support team working. Um, we looked to the literature, incorporating expert input from endoscopists, patient safety and human factors groups to develop a toolkit to support industry teams. This complements the current BSG, JAG and ESG guidelines and is actually meant to work alongside these. The core aspect of the toolkit is based on the model of briefing and debriefing. This is based on established principles in the literature, particularly in surgery. Team briefings and debriefings have been demonstrated to improve safety related outcomes and team performance. The toolkit was developed, implemented and adapted over a six week period of testing and feedback at our tertiary endoscopy unit. The toolkit itself consists of four cognitive aids to support team working in endoscopy. The first three are based around the briefing debriefing model and the last one focuses on optimising endoscopic non-technical skills in PPE. My name is Monique Mathry, one of the Endoscopy Fellows. Um, I'm going to talk about the toolkit briefly and how we've implemented this in our unit. Within the toolkit, we use the words huddle to describe a meeting with all endoscopy team members at the start of the day and briefing as a meeting between core endoscopy team members, those that are undertaking an endoscopy list together. The whole team huddle is an opportunity for all team members to check in with each other at the start of the day, allocate roles and plan tasks ahead of the day. It is the time to understand where the demands of the service will be, patient flow through the department and any global equipment issues that may need to be resolved. The list team briefing should occur before each list and ideally before each case if there is time. This is the time to prepare the team members for the cases ahead. Team members should be allocated explicit roles and have the opportunity to discuss any anticipated problems and plans for conducting the procedure. The debrief should occur after the list has been completed. This is an opportunity to review outcomes from the cases undertaken and identify what went well or what could have been improved for future cases. It is important to allow and encourage open discussion between team members in reviewing outcomes, team working, safety, equipment, PPE, as well as team wellbeing. This step is crucial in understanding things that could be shared with other team members and often feeds back into the whole team huddle. The Endoscopic Non-Technical Skills, or ENTS, in PPE aid provides reminders on how best to manage skills such as communication whilst donned in PPE. Implementation of the toolkit requires ongoing engagement of the endoscopy unit and support from the management team. Initially, this may be seen as added work, but over time, teams should begin to see the benefit of streamlining these processes. The aids can be used as more of an ed memoir once they have become established into practice. So what are the next steps? This toolkit is a practical aid to support endoscopy teams during COVID-19 and the recovery period. It can be easily adapted to suit the needs of other services and for when practice returns to a more normal routine. And we strongly encourage our colleagues to trial this in their own units. 
We plan to ingrain this toolkit into practice as an established patient safety initiative, continuing long after this current pandemic ends.